What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. And I am Gia Casey. And this is another edition of the Casey Crew. Welcome. And today we got a special guest in the building. Yes, we do. Literally in our crib. Now, he's the first person that we've ever done the podcast live at our home and invited in our home. Yes. Oh, I'm the first person? You're the first person. Oh, I feel honored. Seriously. <laughs> no, you are the first person we I have. I thought this was a normal thing. No, no. Well, I we... mean, you're big news right now. We had to get you bird in the hand, That's right? right. Well... I wouldn't say big news. We'll talk uh, about I, that. Excuse me. I saw the video. We ain't gonna big say big news. news. We ain't gonna say big news. Big news. All right. You Yo. might not. You might not feel comfortable I, saying big news. All right. Enough. Enough. <laughs> enough. Enough. We have Safari. You might know him as Scaff Beasy. I've been calling him Scaff Beasy. I don't know how long. Scaff me. Oh my god. So we have Safari in the building. He's here. Like I said, he's the first guest that we had at our home. Nobody else. We really pretty much invite. No. Uh, no. You want to know? And and y'all are the first people that. I've spoken to in a couple. I haven't left my house in a couple of days. I, I haven't left my house. Like you can ask Messiah. I was like, "Yo, I'm not going nowhere. I don't want no one to see me." I'm like, "I don't want no pictures in the gym. I'm not doing none of that." Now, if Why? you haven't heard, you know, uh, Safari did some weird shit, and I'm surprised Messiah let him do it. He, I didn't. He found a naked porn star and put his head. <laughs> On a naked porn star's body. And I've been trying to figure out for days, why would he do that? Like, why would you, you know, uh, you trying to get attention? Because we know that's not your, uh, your, your, your penis. So we figured that you took a porn star and put your head on a porn star. Is that what happened? Nah, man, that's not what happened. And I really have no idea how that video got out. Like for anyone who's thinking, oh yeah, he put that out. If I, if I put that out, I would have had like a little rollout and some things set up in promo. It's like now that it happened, I'm like, yo, all right, I'm going to just take it and run with it. I'd have had a video ready to drop, but you know. Do you recognize it? I'm <laughs> sure he does what? recognize it. Do what, you the video? recognize the video? Do you recall no, taking that video? No, I, I remember it. Like, I'd be, you know, I would go to the gym, take a shower, I'd put my coconut oil on, and, you know, I'd just be making sure I'm. Straight. All right. So, who was that video going to? I mean, you wasn't sending it to Masai. It wasn't like Masai need a fur for my <laughs> my penis. So, who were you sending that to video? And how? Uh, I know that video has to be pretty new. I've known Scaff Safari. I call him Safari for a long time, right? And Safari wasn't always built like this. Safari was. He had man boobs. He had a gut. He wasn't built like that. And then one day I called him on the phone. He was like, all I'm doing is I'm drinking vitamin water. And, I remember that. And eating protein bars. And I was like, bullshit. Then a couple of months later, I'm like, wow, I might just drink some vitamin water and just eat some protein bars because it mm-hmm. seemed like it works. So we, we we know it's pretty recent. So who is that? Who are you sending it to? When I did it, you know, I had, um did it in my Snapchat, but I just like did it and saved it. I'm not going to lie. I don't even remember who. I don't, I don't remember because wow, you have that many. Nah, I don't be sending. That I, you don't eat. No, I don't be sending my. I don't be sending my like. I don't send stuff like that out. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if somebody like broke into my snap or my iCloud or whatever. But I don't. I really don't recall. You don't recall. Okay. You don't recall. Nah. So I, I, go ahead. Does he expect us to buy that? I I don't think so. He know who he sent it to. <laughs> Unless he's just sending random dick pics to just all his girls, like, but he can because he's single, so it, it doesn't like is you know is you know it's not like it's, it's a problem. Of course, that's fine, right? But if that's the case, and you, know, I don't want to be single. I am single. Everyone's saying that, but you know, it's just you know how God has life set up for me right now. So when you got the news, because I'm pretty sure you didn't know that it came out until you woke up in the morning, because you hit me immediately, and it was awkward that you hit me, right? Because <laughs> a, a dick pic just comes out, right? Mm-hmm. And um. He hits me in the DM, and I'm like, all right, is this guy trying to flirt with me now? He's, <laughs> he sends out a penis pic. He don't want no problem. And then, and then all of a sudden, a DM comes. So so when did you realize that the picture came out? Um, In, like, the middle of the night, because I was shooting a video. I was shooting a video for my song, Hunted. And when I left the video, I went to the next spot. I went to my boy's baby shower. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't, like, on my phone scrolling or doing none of that. I was... Do my video, then my next spot was me using my navigation, get to a baby shower, the navigation to come home, boom, 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 all that again. So then when I got home and I seen, did finally looked at my phone, I just seen like a good 74 crazy text messages. My Instagram was like 
in shambles. When I, I see, I could imagine. I seen one. Thing probably had I, about two, three, four hundred more followers two, of three, the female sort. You probably had two, three, I four thousand. I got a hundred thousand followers in one day from that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. a hundred thousand. No, 100, two, three, four hundred thousand. Oh, oh, okay. Followers. Jeez. Yo, when that thing happened, I remember my joint was at like one point one. Don't say 20. my joint. Just say my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Because when you say my joint, people are thinking something else. Uh, All right, my Instagram was at like 1.120,000. Mm-hmm. Now it's at like 1.2 million, 230,000. Wow. Mm-hmm. So people, people, are, I see females and, and gay men really love you right now. Yeah, females are checking for it right now. Gay men too. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, 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 it's dudes, it's women, it's, it's cats, dogs. It's, <laughs> it's like, yo, the DMs that I'm getting, and it's like, What's weird is the, the dudes who like I know I know okay they straight but it's like they hitting me because they see I'm getting a lot of attention. Yo, what's up? What you doing? Yo, I'm about to pull up on you. Let's go do something. Like, yo, what the hell? I'm not doing nothing. Leave me alone. Why you want to hang out with me for? Like, you're not a girl, uh, right? I mean, I had to watch how I tested you. I didn't even say, hey, when are you coming by the Breakfast Club? I said, <laughs> when are you gonna stop by? Like every word, I just wanted to make sure because I was like, I don't know, I don't need somebody to hack me now. And they'd be like, all of a sudden. Envy's flirting at, at, at Safari. So I said, I got to be very, very careful. So if you don't know, of course, Safari is from Love and Hip Hop uh, Hollywood. Now he's on Love and Hip Hop New York. And I heard you got your own show in the works that you're working on. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm not allowed to say anything. So mm-hmm. I don't know where you got that from. That's all speculation. I don't, I don't know. We heard about it. So we'll say congratulations. You don't have to say anything else about it, but we'll say congratulations. Now, you know. Do y'all watch Love and Hip Hop? No. Haters, Damn. no, I do on occasion. I, I don't watch it. Listen, you know why? I, you know why I don't watch it? Why? Because some of the stuff seems fake and stupid, and some of the stuff I feel like if you weren't on TV, I don't think you would necessarily be doing. Yeah, but TV's entertainment, so it is. you know you got to watch it. Your boy's on it. You know, holler it. You know what I'm saying? So support me. I support you. You're right. Hold on. Let me tell you something. No, you know, boy. all day my my TV is on. Like it just re, re, um, replays Breakfast Club all day. On Revolt? Yeah. Uh-huh. Because when I have my TV on, it's either on BT Jams or Revolt. So when I wake up in the morning, I hear this guy, see him looking all tired, scratching his face and <laughs> talking. And So I support you. All right, you're right. And, and, and you know what? I told my wife earlier today before you came, I said, you know what? I've been, I haven't been supportive of Safari. He did and, say that. And, and one thing I would have to say, no matter where I am in the world, whether I'm in L.A. or Miami, if, if Safari's around, he comes to support. Mm-hmm. Whether we go get something to eat or we just whatever, he does support. So I'm going to make sure with this record, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to support this record. Well, he got a record called Honey. He's releasing I'll today. I'll see to it. I'm going to support this record. I, I got to hear it first. I'm going to support it so regardless. So we wrap this up. You got to play it for and, me. And, okay. and it's called a hundred? hundred? Yes, and there's a dance to it. And I need y'all to, you got to learn to dance to it too. You don't got to know how to dance. You ain't got to be super technical, but you got to learn to dance to it. It's, okay. It's fine. Well, well I want to know, is there any like reggae flair, any dance hall flair? In this one? Yeah. Cause that's what I want to see. Not really. Do. There's no real. There's no real reggae. I have, I have, I have another song. Um, you know, in that lane for you. But this one is not. You know, this one's more. It's some turn up. Like, I feel like all the pretty girls now they like trap music. They okay. ain't trap music, but it, it's a turn up record. The, the less than pretty girls don't like trap music. <laughs> <laughs> what do they like? <laughs> no, all girls are pretty though. So ain't no such thing. Is there that you right? Go. Good save. Good there save. So wait. So you're Jamaican. Mm-hmm. A hundred percent. Yeah. Were you born there? I was born in Jamaica, Queens. No, nah, I'm joking. I was born in um in the countryside. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh okay. But I wasn't there a long time though. I was there for like a handful of time, and then soon, you know, what I'm saying, my mother brought all of us over, and I and spent, you grew up in Brooklyn. Yeah, but I was always back and forth between New York and Jamaica. Oh okay. Like, I would spend four or five months out the year every year in Jamaica growing up. I mean, I can tell because you still have the accent. Like, you haven't shut it. I don't be hearing it. People always say that. No, nah, you definitely have it. It, oh, it you comes absolutely, and it goes. It 100%. comes and it goes. I'm part Jamaican, so I can. Oh, you are? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, it comes yeah. and it goes. My she's... mother was born there. Pause. Pause. And she's from Brooklyn, too. And I'm from Brooklyn, too. Where Which... in Brooklyn are you from? Flatbush. Me, too. Where? By, um, in the 40s. Okay, I'm in the 50s. Yeah, she's, yeah. I met her. She can't. I met her in Queens, though. 50 is like where? Like, I'm by Junction. I'm from like Flatbush Junction side. Uh, 55th between Church and Linden. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. It's, yeah, it's crazy over there. Like my zone school was Meyer 11 and Tilden. Mm. Yeah. 